Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing well, Gigi here. I come to you today with a, a little collective message. Uh, I actually rewrote my Love and Confusion deck. There's still, there's a few cards that have to be rewritten that aren't in here, but this is 95% of them. So I'm very excited to bring this to you. It is a work in progress uh, for me. So we're going to be using that deck today and we have our regular uh, Oracle cards here. So quick disclaimer, this message is for a collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it does resonate, please hit that like button down below. If it doesn't resonate, if you'd like to show support to the channel, please hit the like button anyway. If you haven't subscribed already, pre please do so. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how you fit into this reading, okay, if you do. If this doesn't resonate for you guys, please don't force it. Um, it it's, it's not a good thing to try to force something that's not meant for you, okay? So also I'd like to just remind you, I am not a certified therapist. All of these messages are my humble opinions, personal testimony, and just my personal feelings, okay guys? With that all being said, let's lower, let's change this song. We got some meditation music on. Alright. We're going to start out with getting some sage. Can I light it like this? Are you going to let me? There we go. I've already saged and prayed and did a blessing. Um, I am changing up my blessing a little bit because I feel like I need to channel more guidance from Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael for protection, of course, and ask specifically for the Holy Spirit to come down solely with the Holy Spirit's white light and channeling white light spirits and things like that. So I'm going to be changing up my blessing. I'll bring that to you today. And let's begin, guys, okay? Holy Spirit, I ask you to come down and guide me through this reading for my collective. I ask that you allow Archangel Gabriel to come down and help me channel our messages. I also ask that you allow Archangel Michael to protect me as I channel, channel this energy for my collective and myself. Please guide me through this reading, Holy Spirit. Thank you very much. Let's get started with our zodiac cards. Spirit, Holy Spirit, what signs are we looking for today? That one seems to want to come out. Aries. One more, please, Holy Spirit. One more, please, Holy Spirit. Leo. On the bottom of the deck, Earth. So we have Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Okay. We're going to start out, like always, with our Moonology Oracle. We're going to get three, three messages, or whatever Holy Spirit wants to give us. What are we telling them today, Spirit? Have faith in your dreams. Absolutely. All your dreams. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Emotions are running high. Yes, yes they are. Lots of energy going on right now. Very high energy running through me right now. Whoops, okay. Last message. Here we go. You're very close to achieving your goals on the bottom of the deck. Personal issue reaches a personal issue reaches resolution. Have faith in your dreams. Emotions are running high. We have a super moon, a waxing crescent moon, Gibson moon, and a full moon in Cancer. So we have Cancer on the board too, guys. Have faith in your dreams. This is very similar to another reading I got uh, a while ago. Have faith in your dreams. You're very true. You know, it's like most of us here. We're all working on something, it feels like. Maybe not all but a lot of us are. I know I am personally. 
um, I have big dreams that I've been working on putting into, like, making into a practical situation, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you're working towards something, like, I'll use my situation as an example, when you're working towards a goal, you know, you can get really, you know, some of us, especially as a, as a fellow Leo, you know, and fire signs are very passionate people, okay? We get very passionate about what we want to do, especially when it comes to dreams, okay? Like, my dream is to have a successful business making candles and other beautiful things for people to use to, you know, have a little bit of fun. You know, a lot of my stuff is novelty, but to relax and um, enjoy some pretty things for the home. You know, that's my dream. Okay, and I really would like to go forth with it. And I know that personally, I can get very focused, almost to a point of being obsession, like an obsession, okay? And when I see this, it, you know, when you have goals and you're trying to make them come, to, you know, into fruitation, basically, it can cause a lot of heavy emotions. And it can cause people, you know, I know personally, it can sometimes cloud my judgment when I'm too focused, laser focused on something with blinders on, you know? It can cause your emotions to run really high and it can you know when you start to see things not going your way you can start to not have faith in your dreams but the thing is is what i'm seeing here for all of us collectively that you know we're all very i'm hoping i'm a part of this is i hope you know we're very close to achieving whatever goal it is for ourselves. you know we're all working you know we all have personal issues that we sh you know that we have to face on a daily basis none of none of our lives are perfect i mean we're spiritual beings living human existences and nothing here is perfect there's only one perf perfect being and that is the almighty god so you know we have to let these these like for me my obsession with certain things to let it go to reach that resolution of finding peace with just having faith in my dreams and working hard so i can continue to reach this point to where i'm hoping to have achieved my goals okay and i hope that this the same thing is for you guys that you guys can you know maybe whatever it is that you have a personal issue wise that might be holding you back from achieving your goals which could be very much self-doubt you know maybe changing your mindset and thinking more optimistically you know about your dreams having faith in the most high god that you know if this is the path that you're supposed to be on that you're going to achieve that goal and if it's not the path that you're supposed to be on the most high god will show you the way that you need to go okay the holy spirit will guide you if you pay attention okay so allowing this personal issue to reach resolution will very much i feel like it's it's really about having faith in your dreams release that that toxic way of thinking about you know if things don't happen like this you know in our timing and it, when you know it's supposed to happen in divine timing have faith in those dreams you will achieve it you'll achieve your goals but you gotta you gotta not let your emotions get to you too much okay because i know i have scorpio as my moon sign i i know how overwhelming my emotions can get especially when i'm stressed out burnt out tired exhausted you know and i I'm not the only one here that feels that and if you guys don't feel that way please tell me how you are finding your center all the time keeping it peaceful all the time because I truly need to know because I can't sometimes I can't catch my emotions and, and get them to stand still and relax and just be patient and calm my mind you know as an empath my emotions are always on like on end always absolutely always you know, I, I walk into a room, I could be the happiest person as at the door. And as soon as I walk through the threshold of that door, you know, there's times where I've walked into places with a room full of people where the energy is so heavy that I had to turn around and walk out before I could even say hi to people. Stores I've had to leave in the middle of shopping, shopping because of the fact that I couldn't stand to be around so much draining energy, you know? So I get when emotions run high, it can overtake some of us, okay? And this is something that's that's really important is we need to understand that everything happens for a reason okay there's situations that we're put into to teach us lessons to help us grow certain parts of us that may be needing to be strengthened okay and you know me personally i know that sometimes when things don't go right with certain business aspects or different ideas aren't follow you know falling into place the way i want to i know i can get upset and that's a personal issue that I'm working on resolving. You know what I'm saying? What's underneath it? You are good enough. Exactly. You are good enough. Your, your, your dreams are real. You need to have faith in them. We understand that emotions can be running real heavy right now. But the thing is, is 
we're very close to achieving our goals. I, like I said, I really hope I'm part of the collective today because I'd really like to reach my personal resolution of being able to stop being so down on myself when things don't go my way in the time I want it to go. You know, I really hope that one day soon I wake up and all the things that I have been working so hard on come to fruitation because I'm good enough and the energy is gaining momentum, you know? What did it say underneath that? Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. My comfort zone personally is, is having faith in myself and believing that I am good enough. You know, this is something I've been working on my entire existence is believing that I'm good enough even when everybody and their mother is telling me I'm not. I was, I am, not was, because my family's still here, most of it. And um, I have always been the black sheep of my family, okay? I have always been, um, not my whole family, but just one side of it, okay? I come from a very, uh, a lot of my family's very conservative. There's only one member of my family left that I, I really do connect with and have a really good relationship with. I mean, it goes up and down a lot, but, it, but there's a huge part of my family that I'm the black sheep in, okay? And, and having that weighing on me personally all my life has always caused me to have a lot of self-doubt, okay? A lot. And as I've gotten older and as I became a mother, I have realized that all of those negative feelings weren't true. That I am worthy of being loved and respected and treated properly. And, you know, having a little boy that woke me up in a sense reminded me that I shouldn't allow people to bully me, to walk all over me, take advantage of me, put me down because I'm different, put me down because I want to have my own goals and I have my own dreams and I want to live them out. People telling me, you know, why would you want to do that, G? Why don't you go work for somebody else? Why invest all this money into something that'll fail and you'll never have nothing again? Why, you know, that's the sort of stuff I've heard my whole life people fighting me about wanting to go into the Navy, saying, don't go, don't go, you don't leave me, don't leave me. And then as soon as I get up and I go and I do it and I complete it and I do a really good job, then they're proud of me, but they can't support me beforehand. You know what I'm saying? And that's all about having faith in your dreams. I wanted to be a fighter pilot. I wanted to be on the flight deck of a ship. I wanted to do all sorts of things. I never got to get to the chance to being a pilot, but I got to work on the, on the flight deck of a ship. I got to launch birds, I got to handle ordnance, I got to be in security, I got to do on-the-job training for medical, I worked in magazines, I worked on uh, ordnance elevators, I worked on so many things when I was in the Navy. I got to live so many cool dreams. So many cool dreams, man. People, the things I saw in the almost three years I was in the service, most people would never even fathom in a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And I had faith in myself that I can do it. Boot camp was physically wasn't a big deal, but it was mentally, it was a huge deal for somebody like me who doesn't like to be told no, who doesn't like to be told what to do, doesn't like people being in their face yelling at them. Like, that shit's real. You know, they really do do all that. And I was stressed out a lot of the times, but I, I grew, I grew. I achieved a lot of personal goals during that, that time in the service, learned a lot about myself, you know, and it may not be the service for you. It may not be building a business. It could be finishing school. It could be becoming a doctor. It could be becoming a lawyer, an astronaut, whatever it is that's your dream collective, whatever it is that's your dream, have faith. If you're working hard and you're putting in all the effort and you're, you, you're, you, and you feel that you're so close to achieving your goals, you are, but don't let your emotions get to you. Okay. It's not, it's just, we're at a point now where we need to see things for what they are and believe in ourselves. It is very important to believe in ourselves, okay? So, with that being said, I'd like to get, I wanna move this over to the romance side because I like to give a little bit of everything in my reading. Whatever comes out, I have two personal oracle decks that I've created here, my love and confusion and then my finishing off deck. I'm gonna pull a couple of romance oracles because I'd like to see what is being if our relationships are being affected because of all of this because i know personally when i get into that mindset of gina you just gotta go 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 do 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 get this all done you got goals you got things to do like i can get really really down like i am getting very dedicated when i become when i get something on my mind that i really 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 want to do i freaking do it and i don't stop until i achieve my goals like if i want something 
And if I want it bad enough, oh boy, will I get it and I will do just about anything to do it. Like I will put all the hard work in. I will put in the hours, the dedication, the time to, sh to hit the ground and run and do everything I can that I'm allowed to do, obviously. I would never try to manipulate any situation. At one point I did and then I got woke up and smacked, smacked, smacked by the Holy Spirit and said, no, you can't do that no more. And now I'm an obedient woman that listens and does the right thing no matter how hard it hurts. And no matter what I have to do to make sure I do it properly in accordance to what the Most High has in store for me, I will do it. So, but it does tend to affect our personal relationships. So with all of that being said, let's move over to our Romance Oracle deck. And let's find out what's going on. Let's see what Spirit has to tell us. What do we need to know about the Romantical Energy Spirit that is being affected? And how is it being affected? Okay, let's see. Whoa. There's some unrequited love. And that could very well be because you're whoever this is resonating for oh, outside of myself. You're you're too focused on whatever it is that you're having, whatever your goal is. You're letting your emotions affect what's going on in your romantical situation. You may not be able to give enough attention. Chemistry may be lost because you're too focused on other things. Or you could very well be having issues with yourself like me having faith that I am worthy, having faith that my hard work is being noticed, having faith in, that I'm capable of succeeding and being successful. It can go either way. Take it how, is it, how it resonates for you, collective, okay? Because this is not just about me here. It's about all of us here. This is, this is something we all need to think about. Anything else, spirit? Anything else right off the bat? A wedding. This situation involves a wedding. Some of you, this may be, the goal is is to get married, is to be in a, in a maybe a serious relationship, a long-term relationship with somebody that's been on your mind a long time. You know what I'm saying? However, this is something I'd like to talk about with you guys, okay? If this is based around a relationship and your dreams are to be with this person and you're, you're allowing your emotions to get in the way of that, it could very well be causing a lot of imbalance in the relationship with attraction and chemistry because you guys may be at each other's throats. Somebody might be push, trying too hard. Somebody might not be trying hard enough. Somebody might be, you know, feeling like they can't do this anymore because there's so much back and forth. You know, I'll give an example. Um, back in June, I had, that's when I was awakened to the situation, to the fact that I was in a twin flame journey, okay? I've known this particular person almost eight years, and it's been very back and forth between he and I, okay? And there's a lot of misconception, there's a lot of deception, there's a lot of lies, there's a lot of manipulation, okay? And that's because we're a very far distance away from each other, okay? And it causes a lot of issues. Now, we're both working on ourselves. I know that. We both know that we want each other. We know that. I can't seem to stop dreaming about this person. I can't seem to stop thinking about this person. And when I do, they won't let me. Mm -mm. He won't let me. He will not let me let him go. He even specifically told me straight up, I'm not letting you get away from me that easily this time. Like I know for a fact he wants me, but there is something on his end that's not according to him, none of my business that he needs to attend to, to be able to come towards me. Okay. So that causes a lot of issues with attraction because I can't tell when I'm trust, when I can trust him or not, which affects the chemistry. I, I truly care about this person very deeply. Okay. I have tried to get rid of him out of my life. I have tried to move on. It, and every time I try to do, he comes back. And it takes me forever to freaking forgive him. And when I start to forgive him, he does the same shit over again. And we've gone through this vicious cycle over and over and over again. However, since June, when I realized what was going on, because like I said, this, this situation between he and I have been going on for almost eight years. All right. And 
when I became aware of what was going on, it made it click. Hello, now I understand we're mirroring each other. We're 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 so far away, and I don't do well with distance relationships, like period point blank. Okay, I don't. Um, it's causing a lot of issues. However, with how things have gone since I finally figured out why, things have started not being, our emotions haven't been running as high. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does, but I feel like there's a lot more to it than that, you know? I feel like all of the stuff that we're going through and arguing about and back and forth about is what's going to help us personally resolve our personal issues to be able to move forward to possibly maybe one day if if it really happens oh yeah, yeah this to possibly happen but we need to get through all of this first personally okay now if that's what you're going through and it's not a business or a job or schooling or a family situation that you have your dreams on like buying a house starting a business building an empire you know getting that really good job that makes you really 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 happy fulfilled possibly wealthy because once you start doing something you love it no longer feels like work, right? So I really feel that all of that balances together and coming to the realization for all of us that we are worthy of the goodness in life and getting us to the point where we can just stop allowing our emotions to run so heavy and affect what we're doing and causing that unrequited love. Once we can figure out how to balance that out, damn, like I said, I hope I'm part of the collective because I really would love to be with my twin flame and right off into the sunset and I'll have all the rainbows and hearts coming out of my head and my ass, okay? Like, I would love that. Yes, I might have a situation that I'm dealing with personally, but that is something that I'm dealing with. That's a personal issue that I'm working on resolving. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to be hurt by nobody. I want to live in love and peace and happiness. And, you know, it all comes down to... It all comes truly comes down to how we allow our emotions to affect us, how we resolve our personal issues to be able to allow us to have faith in our dreams, which will then in return allow us to achieve our goals. Does that make sense to you guys? Let's see one more romance. An angel card. Let's see if we have anything else. Spirit out of here. Let's see if we can get one more card. Anything else you want to tell in spirit? almost a mess for this 52 card pickup. All right, Spirit, one more card, please. All right, let's just cut the deck. Cut the deck. Cut the deck. Cut the deck. Love yourself first. I did say that. You have to love yourself first and believe in yourself. Believe you are worthy. What did it say underneath here? You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. That's true. You are good enough. You need to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive to people. You know, if you respect yourself and you love yourself, that's the only way you'll be able to love other people. Okay, so you can get to that point where this re unrequited love is reversed. You guys go back to the chemistry and the love that you had for each other and have all the attractions and the hearts and the rainbows coming out of your head and your ass too. You got to love yourself first. You got to put number one first. See, as a mother... Who has waited 18 years who waited 18 years to have her child I got to a point where I completely forgot about myself and all my love and attention and focus was on my child and I was letting myself go health wise physically mentally emotionally just it gave it all to him and now after all of that I got to a point where I'm burned out and now I've been focusing on trying to find back find my own routine for self-care and taking time to rest enough and drink enough water and eat right. You know, I got a message when I had first got had my divine intervention and I was channeling messages after message after message. It was so freaky and yeah, I can start to feel like something's going to come through here, it feels like. Um, but I was specifically told to eat more vegetarian, vegan eating and drink nothing but water to help me channel which I've been working on. It's, you know, I have an addiction to sugar. I can eat sugar like it's candy. Well, candy, huh? <laughs> funny. Anyway, but, you know, I have that problem. I never was a soda drinker, but it mine's more chocolate, you know, and getting rid of that and my happy go-go juice coffee. That's, that's the other thing, but I don't put sugar in it. You know what I mean? I just drink sugar-free stuff and I've been eating much healthier and I feel much better. I've lost a, since March, I've probably lost 35 pounds. 
roughly between 30 and 35 pounds just for making sure I hit a minimum of 10,000 steps and drinking plenty of water and going on my daily walks. I mean, I just, a couple hours ago, I went on a mile walk with my dog and my son just to get out into the sunshine before it got too hot. And let me tell you, if I don't go on my morning walks, one, my dog Loki will have my ass. And two, I just don't feel like I can accomplish anything. You know, there was something that somebody sent me. It was something I heard maybe even in the service that if the only thing you do in the to, in, in a day is get up and make your bed, at least you can say you did something, you know? And that's kind of how I feel is in the morning I get up and I, I this is something new over the last, we'll say month or so I've been doing is I literally have to be that kind of person where I sit down and I write a chore chart on everything I'm supposed to do every day of the week that I'm home and, and responsible for the household by myself. And that's taking time to know that what I need to do for myself is important and make sure, making sure all the things that are necessary for me to do, like I have no other choice, like making sure the dishes are done and making sure the vacuum floor is vacuumed and the beds are made and the clothes are put away. So that way my small apartment where we live with three animals and three humans doesn't get too overwhelming, which causes me a great deal of stress. That's showing myself love because I realized what my personal downfall is and that is complacency. You know, on my mirror when I was first having this awakening, I wrote, never be complacent in anything. Follow through with everything and keep a princess mindset in all situations. Those are, those are affirmations I tell myself every day, if you want to call them affirmations, that I do along with saying I would like to, have, you know, I of course try to speak to the Most High God as often as I can. And I ask to have patience. I ask to have a pleasant day. I, I, I go into the day with an optimistic point of view, or at least I attempt to. Okay. And that's showing myself love. It may not be going, get my nails done, my toes done, get my hair did every week, you know, like getting your eyebrows done. Like those are beautiful things. But for somebody like me who is easy, I can easily go and do that. I can do it myself. I went to cosmetology school. You know, I know how to do these things for myself. I prefer to do them myself, to be honest with you. I'm more focused personally on loving myself in an emotional and spiritual way. You know, however you need to figure out what you need to love yourself first, whether it be, you know, getting extra sleep, resting when you need to, not pushing yourself to breaking, allowing yourself to say, okay, I've had enough, I need a break and step away from the problem. You need to be able to recognize these things because once you get your mind right and you get your spirit right and your body right, your temple, it's not about what you're wearing. It's not about how you do your hair. It's not about, you know, what you do on your nails. It's not about, the, you know, the, the clothes on your back or the shoes on your feet. It's more about being able to understand your personal emotions, recognizing when things get to be too crazy in your life. And instead of going, just push forging forward and allowing that stress and anxiety to wear you down to where not even getting your toes done feels good anymore. You got to work on your mind, body, and spirit before you can go and have all the extra luxuries. So that way, when you do go and have those extra luxuries and the pretty things and the nice things and all of the fun things, you can actually recognize and appreciate that this is something you did for yourself. I hope that makes sense because I think we all need, especially after this pandemic, me for sure. I lived, I still do. I love living in leggings. I like having full range of motion. I have a two and a half year old. I do a lot of yoga. I do a lot of play on the floor. I do a lot of outside activities. I like being in leggings and a t-shirt during the day, you know, but I also like to dress up and it's something that I need to start doing just for me. Even if it's just slapping a foundation, eyeshadow, not even eyeshadow, a foundation, maybe a little powder and some mascara and lip gloss, like just even doing something like that for myself to feel good. You know, we've all been trapped in the house. Even still, we got the Delta variant of this freaking virus. We got all this crap going on. Possibly, just even the thought of being locked down again makes me so sick. I'm so sick of having long distance relationships. I want to see my people. Like I get it. And we all went into this reclusive mode, and we, some of us, have forgotten to love ourselves because of it. Because we're not indoor people. We're outside people. We got to go and we got to interact with people. We got to go and have, you know, we're extroverts. Some of us are extroverts that can't stand to be locked in the house constantly. It causes me. So if I don't leave the house at least once in the day, that's why I go out for my walks. If I don't go out of the house at least once a day, I'll rip my hair out. Sometimes I'll just get up and go to the dispensary right before it closes. Just Even if I don't need the smoke, just to get out of the house and interact with somebody. Okay. I will just take my son to Target one or Walmart or whatever, just to get out of the house because I need to be around people. You know, this pandemic has killed us all. 
can cause a lot of self-doubt you know some of us didn't go to the you know we couldn't go to the gym gain a little weight or you lost a little weight from stress whatever you got to remember take care of number one so that way you can go and have whatever it is the the, the achieve those goals so you can achieve those goals you got to take care of yourself so that way your emotions don't get crazy out of control. You can re resolve any re personal issues that may be clouding you, keeping you stagnant, all of that. And remember to have faith. Remember to have faith. Because so everything you want is going to happen. You'll get that chemistry back. There's going to be passion. And it's this, your soulmate. Have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations for sure with yourself. I really think this is more about self-love and self-care. So that way when you actually get to be with the person you want to be with if that's your story if this is you know if the romance side of this is for you once you get all of, once you get all of this together and you actually get a chance to be with that person holy crap the amount of chemistry like i i can just envision it like i kind of almost see like two i don't i don't see physical people like i see beings like i can see a, a shadow of a, a female outline and a male outline just holding each other and i see the twin flames swirling around them like there there's an, an essence that i get when i recognize twin flames and i see this essence around these two people very similar to what i got when i first found out i was in my twin flame on my twin flame journey okay like I, I see that for some of you it may not be a twin flame it may just be a very deep soulmate connection but I see that once you guys get your your love for yourself back you can kind of get your emotions under control you resolve any personal issues you may have and believe you'll get everything you want and you, you sure will and please if you do y'all do get to go and have this wedding please let me know please invite me. I'd love to marry you. I'll definitely get, I, I definitely want to do whatever it is I have to do. I'm, I, I've been talking about it. I've said this a million times. I'm going to say it in a million and a half more. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our love and confusion deck out because I'd like to see what is being, what's being affected. How is this relationship with you guys being affected? Okay. and something cards here guys so it's a relatively large stack so okay spirit let's receive some messages let's get a few let's there they are okay we have a spiritual being if you were an honest man things could have been different between us and left at the altar. None of that. None of y'all better be leaving nobody at the altar. Nobody better be leaving anybody at the damn altar. After all this, no better. Nobody better be. And whoever is the lion person here, whoever wasn't being honest, needs to come clean. That could very well be this personal issue that reaches resolution. Okay, you need to be honest. Okay, and I really think that the reason why anybody might be leaving anybody at the altar is because they aren't loving themselves first. They're letting their emotions get out of hand. Could be lying. Could be lying. Somebody could be lying. And if that pattern doesn't break, somebody's going to get left at the altar. Spell work, black magic at play. See, what is going on? Now I can understand why somebody might be putting this on somebody that could be causing them self-doubt. Nobody better be doing this shit to me. I'll tell you what. I return to sender. Return it to sender. Put it up to the Most High God and let him know to ask and to let ask him to be to let down um, Archangel Michael to protect you from this and return this shit to sender because this could very well be why you're having all these self doubt issues. You're you're so stressed out is because you're getting some backlash from spell not, spell work, which could also very well be causing this unrequited love between the two of you. You know. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. A big spender. See, this is something that I, I say in a lot of my videos. We're going to move this over here so I have some more room. Move you up here, sorry. You can't buy love. You can't buy respect. You can't buy a relationship. I mean, you could, but really, what kind of relationship is it? 
you got money like that, do what you want with it. But make sure this doesn't become a toxic situation, okay? Don't leave nobody at the altar. If you don't want to be married to that person, don't propose. Don't put a ring on it. Don't say yes to the proposal. Don't do any of that if you're going to leave them there. And you're not going to go through with it. What is it, to try to trap somebody? Is that, is, are you using magic to get that proposal to play a game? What are you doing? What, what's happening? I don't think this is you, Collective. Why would I ever believe you again? Right next to if you were an honest man, things could be different. Like, in my situation, personally, with my Divine Masculine, I hold a lot more of the masculine energy in the relationship anyway. Um, but either way, he's the he's the man in the 3D. Okay? So, he... He is, he's been, you know, he wasn't a very honest person. And I, there have been times where I feel like I would never be able to trust him again. And then he turns around and he, you know, shows me one thing or another. I also, Loki's having a dream. Um, there better not, I'm, I'm just saying this for my own situation collective. I pray that nobody's using magic against y'all, but if anybody's trying to use magic against me, like, I know that there's been some energy, negative, toxic, black, dark magic energy sent my way before, okay? Especially when I first started this channel. I got some stuff, I just returned it to sender, didn't even acknowledge it, nothing. Like, I know that there's been some stuff sent my way. I'm not stupid. I know very well what's going on, whether that other person wants to admit it or not. Like, I know what's going on. I, I feel like I'm I'm fairly tapped into the 5D. Okay, I'm not I'm not I'm not overly confident that I'm all the way in there yet because I work daily to try to you know do what's right and, and learn and be guided. But I know when there's something like this going on. I know when my energy shifts. Confirmation from Loki's dream. Loki, come here, honey. Are you okay? You okay? Bad dream? I love you, buddy. You okay? Sorry about that, guys. But none of this, none of this spell work, none of this black magic. Nobody needs to be lying. Nobody needs to be left at the altar. Because we have a spiritual being here, a fellow spiritual being. Okay? A sp fellow spiritual being that is going to be, if you're, you know, if you're an intuitive, if you're a seer, if you're a median, if you're a fellow tarot reader, oracle worker, whatever the case may be. You don't want to do this to this specific person, especially if you're trying to throw black magic at them, using spells on them. The thing is, the thing is, is that this, the spiritual being isn't going to allow it to happen. I know I wouldn't. I don't think you guys should either. You know what I'm saying? Pay very close attention to what's going on around you guys. Pay attention to the red flags. Pay very close attention. Let's see. Anything else, Spirit? T love takes time, and it's really worth it. I absolutely agree. But not if there's spell work being done. If somebody's trying to put a love spell, if somebody's trying to manipulate a situation to keep two beings together that will cause this to happen, left at the altar, you know, manipulation from a third-party situation, like, I wish a bitch would, like, that's... I, Spiritual Sag, thank you for that phrase. I absolutely love that phrase. I wish a bitch would. I'm going to say this from my own experience, okay? If I was brought into a third party where that third party, especially with my twin flame, okay? If I was brought into a third party situation within my twin flame and me and my whatever, and whatever, whomever it is that's that third party in this situation tries to pull this shit on me, so this happens and embarrasses me, I wish a bitch would. I wish a bitch would. I really would. Because here's what would happen. This is what happened. If, so, if somebody were to leave me at the altar, you know what I would do? Every person that's in that audience on both sides of the aisle would hear everything I had to say about the situation. They'd know. They'd know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave that church. We're going to go to the, the, the um, reception area and we're going to have a ball. I'm gonna let this shit bother me because here's the thing. I don't I don't I, I don't know how to be jealous anymore and here's why. Because I know my worth now. If you're gonna be with me, you're gonna be with me. If you're gonna leave me to go with somebody else, you never truly love me and I can understand that and I can accept that. Because I knew coming into this and realized that once I have ascended 
or have been awakened or whatever you want to call this, that I was going to lose a lot of people. People were going to try to manipulate me. People were going to try to use my gifts to, for personal gain. They were going to try to do all sorts of things. But the thing is, is I see now who I am. I know the type of person I am. I know how I treat my men that, that are in my life and, and my lovers. I know how to do all of that. And if you want to leave me at the altar, yeah, it'll hurt. It'll hurt. But the thing is, is at least I know it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? I may have some ups and downs. I may have some serious issues once in a while. But we, we all do. We human. We're human. But if you're going to try to, if somebody's going to try to put spells on me or my person or whomever I choose to be with or whoever chooses to be with me, if somebody wants to do that, which causes them to leave me at the altar or I leave them at the altar, no, I would never leave somebody at the altar. If I, I, I've been, I've always wanted to have the beautiful wedding. I've been married before, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything to write home about. I'm looking for that fairy tale ending. And if I get left at the altar during my fairy tale ending, I'll know it's this. And so should you, especially if you, you guys know each other and you know how you feel about each other. But the thing is, is if you have a dishonest person in your midst, this could all very well lead. I don't, I, 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 I just don't want to, s <sighs> I'm just, a f I, I fear for whomever this may concern that the dishonesty between the two people will cause a lot of issues if it doesn't get resolved but love does take time and it's really worth it just make sure that you're you're putting that effort into with somebody that's worth it you know what i'm saying because you don't want to get left at the altar even though if you're like me and you'll just you know blow it over and just go and have a good time and celebrate and realize that you were you know, given a pass to move on because that wasn't the relationship for you you know everything happens in divine timing and you know, rejection is God's way of showing you that this wasn't supposed to be for you. You were trying to do something you weren't meant to do. You know, that's why you get rejected. And it hurts and it sucks, but you have to realize that it wasn't meant to be. Okay? So just, we'll leave it at that. The truth you seek will show itself to you and how they treat you. Absolutely. Rainy day cuddles and ice cream. Speak from your heart. Somebody from the north. Might, are you guys from the north? Are you going north? Are you flying north for the summer? Protect yourself from all things. Well, with black magic and spell work on the table, absolutely. Get yourself a little sage. Get you a clear quartz piece of crystal. Take yourself a spiritual bath. Protect yourself. Say any prayers you need to say. Protect your home. Protect yourself. Protect your family return to sender anything that may be causing you grief and issues I feel like I'm drowning this could very well be you collective drowning in your own feelings about yourself about the situation again we have uh, and emotions are running high you need to f get out of this I feel like I'm drowning situation and love yourself. We got Midwest. Divine Masculine on the board. And somebody's magic. It may not be magic like in the magic hocus pocus sense, but your magic can make people feel all kinds of good things. Could very well be that too. Like we, we, I feel like we as a whole collective are very lovable people that want to have all the hearts and rainbows and love. But for some reason, there's this toxic energy over here that's causing us all to feel like we're drowning. I wake up feeling like I'm drowning sometimes, too, and it's not just from allergies, from the stupid smoke from these fires, you know? But we all need to speak from our heart and speak truth and be honest and let go of the damn love spells. Let go of the damn black magic. And don't leave nobody at the damn al altar. Don't even put... Why, why waste the money? Why waste the money? Why waste the energy? Why waste, why waste a, a heartbreak? A boss lady? Somebody a boss lady. Oof, oof, oof. I got too much coming out here. Let's just take the ones that I see. Ooh, ball. I saw that one too. Okay. Please let me sweep you off your feet. This fall. Could this all be happening this fall? 
I love our deep, intimate connections. And we have an artist. A boss lady, a spiritual being, an artist, a big spender, divine masculine from the north or midwest. We have this fall. There's a very deep, intimate connection. We got divine masculine. This could def this is, you know, twin flame connection, soulmate connection. And there are different types of, you know, soulmate connections. You got your karmics that teach you lessons, and then you have your true love soulmates, the ones that are meant to be with you if you're not on a twin flame journey. Like there's your, you know, there's different types of soulmates. You just have to recognize which one yours is, okay? Biker. And somebody can feel you in their sleep. Well, you know, you're a twin flame. It's very, it's very much, could very much be the reason why. That you're feeling your person's energy in your sleep. Go back to school. Go back to school, learn something. That could very well be something, you know, that big dream that you may have. Maybe you might need some schooling. Well, this is the time to do it. Maybe this coming spring. Maybe it's time to go back to school in the spring or the fall. We have fallout here too right here. I'll do anything to make up for what I did to you. I feel like that's the person that was lying to you. That was making you feel all types of way. That probably would have, and if you would have gotten together too soon, you probably would have gotten left at the altar. There probably was some spell work being done. And they realized that once they figured out how to break the spell work, or somehow the spell work was broken somehow, they were realizing what the hell they did. And now they're in this position to where they want to do anything, I mean anything, to get you to realize that they're, they didn't mean it. You know, because I, I really truly feel that this person really loves you. But because of that magic, whatever it was, whatever it is, time's fluid, guys. So this could be happening now, happened already, happening in the future. Take it how it resonates and, you know, go from there. But this person really truly wants you. They want to be around you. They love their deep intimate connection with you. And they want to sweep you off their feet, your feet. They want to have rainy day cuddles. And right now they feel like they're drowning. Because they, you think they're a liar and you'll never trust them again. Probably because they did leave you at the altar. You might have been left at the altar. You know what I'm saying? That could have happened to you already. And now they realize what they did. And now they're like, eh, I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. There was some spell work. There was this. There was that. I'll do anything to make up for what I did to you. That broke your heart. But I feel like this is very important. And it keeps staring at me. Protect yourself in all things collective. Because there may very well still be spell work happening. That's like the last, the ass end of it. That could be trickling down. That could be causing some ups and downs and back and forths. He shows fake love. Or he did show fake love. They have more money than sense. I realize now I should have picked you. There is no amount of money that can make up for being breaking my heart. Yeah, we had big spender up here. And if the person's a liar and they broke your heart, they can't buy your love and respect back. That's important. I swear she meant nothing. I was drinking and made a poor choice. Is that why they got left at the altar? Is because you woke up from a, a binge a bender and you realize what you did and now you're at the al then you're at the altar and you're like, Nope, gotta go. I got I got my twin flame over here, not this karmic crazy person, and I made a really bad choice here. I gotta go. I now realize I should have picked you. I'll do anything to make up for what I did. I had more money than sense. I was drinking, I was partying, I was being a big spender, doing too much, being too much, and now and now I realize that I'm addicted to you. We have fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we got water on the board twice now. We got earth. We ha I've seen one of the, oh here, full moon and cancer right there. We got fire all up and down here from Aries, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got all the, or all the signs are out here. All the elements are out here. Earth, fire, and water. Okay. Oh, we don't have air out here. My bad. Three of the four. See what else we got. Okay. A couple last messages. Spirit. Anything else? Anything else, Spirit? Yeah. Anything else? Alright, nothing left from this deck that needs to come out right now. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna see. I wanna see what else we get. 
they have more money than sense. Yeah, they need to quit being a big spender. They need to realize that there's more to life than money. You know, let me let, look. I like to listen to, you know, to hip hop where it's a lot of, you know, get that bag, shake that ass, do all this, you know. The thing is, is a lot of us take that shit too seriously. We want to have this, you know, Nicki Minaj, Car Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion kind of lifestyle, you know, all that mindset with the Bentleys and the Porsches. Believe me, if I could get my hands on a Mercedes and live in a mansion, I would love that. But the thing is, is I want this more. I want my dreams to come true and not necessarily the monetary part of it. I'm talking about feeling accomplished, having the love of my life there with me, you know, walking this earth with me in happiness and peace and feeling at ease and finding joy in everything I do than, I, than having a Mercedes or a Bentley or a Porsche, you know what I'm saying? And having a 10,000 square foot home and billions of dollars I mean all that'd be nice once I have the love of my life in my life and I feel like I am actually happy and there's no more unrequited love pay attention to your pets they were sent to you by the divine and they're there to guide you and bring you messages they will protect you be kind to them they love you very much absolutely Loki's my messenger Loki's my guardian he tells me what to do all the time and not just in, like, I want to go for walks and give me treats. Like, he reminds me when I need to do meditation. And he reminds me when I need to go to bed. And he reminds me things. You know what I'm saying? So pay attention to your pets. Return that negative energy, black magic to sender. What did I say, guys? I can't make it up. It's heavy. It's the, this card feels heavy, energy-wise. Okay? It's the second time I've seen it on the board. It's a serious situation. And just like I said before, I know my worth, do you guys? Make sure you know your worth. Third freaking time. Third time. Spell work, black magic, magic, curses are being sent your way. Three effing times. Every black magic card I have is on the deck on the table right now. This is some heavy shit. Guys, seriously. There's a temptress, succubus, that could be causing this black magic. There's a temptress that's that's pulling your masculine energy away from you that may cause them to leave you at the altar if you don't get to work it on yourself, love yourself first, so that way you can be more romantically attractive to people because they know you know your worth. I wish I could stop thinking about you. I, I really think that that goes both ways, collective, between you and your person. In between them having this spell work being done on them and having to, you know, break through it, they, they realize that they, they can't stop thinking about you and you're all that they think about. It's time to make, make the next move. Absolutely. Excuse me for just a second. Something just popped up. Okay. It's time to make the next move. Absolutely. And that's taking care of yourself first, collective take care of yourself first so that way once you get into this situation and you you looking good smelling good and wishing a bitch would thank you again spiritual sag for that i love that woman anyway looking good smelling good being all that you can be and don't stay in the army <laughs> i know somebody that would tease me about that anyway be all that you can be for yourself and once you acting like this boss lady or this boss ass whoever be that person. Be the divine being you know inside that you are. Okay, it's time to make that next move. Take that next move on yourself. Take that next move. Make that next move for yourself. Back up out the spell work. Get out of the spell work with this temptress, whoever you are masculine. Get away from the temptresses. Uh, I saw this one. Sage your space. And have that sincere apology. Get that sincere apology. You want sincerity? Get it. If you can't give it, you can't get it. You can't give it. You, whatever. You just there needs to be a sincere apology, especially if somebody's been lying, if somebody's been putting spell work on you or using black magic or whatever the case may be. There needs to be some serious cleansing of the situation, and this whatever this is is going to change your life. You're already on the point where you're about to reach your personal goals. You're about to reach your, your all your achieve your goals, reach personal resolutions, and believe in yourself. And it, you, it's going to change your life. This whole situation is going to change your life. But we need to get rid of this black magic. We need to return all that crap to sender so that nobody's getting left at the altar and having a heartbreak. 
you're taking your sweet ass time. Let's go already. That's what I think about this. That's I say this to my to my masculine all the time. I'm like, come on now, we both know. I'm waiting for you to get back to who you really are. I'm I'm waiting on you. I'm so sick of waiting on you. Almost eight years later, I'm still waiting for you. Not really, because I'm just like at this point, I'm like, whatever. If you want to stay, stay. If you want to go, go. I'm at a point where I just I don't even know anymore. But it, it's like, let's let's stop taking our sweet ass time. Like, we grow now. Let's let's grow up, pull up our big girl panties, and let's get it going already. Like, we got shit to do. That's how I feel. And I feel like this this is once y'all stop taking your sweet ass time, whoever this may be, your life is going to freaking change, man. You're going to have all the things. You're going to get to be a big spender yourself. I drank too much. And I don't remember. Well, it did say in here that you were drinking and made a poor decision. Well, hopefully you can figure out what it is and heal from that so you can make that sincere ass apology and, and stop allowing your money to manipulate the way you think. And don't be showing no fake ass love either. The sea witch is casting spells, not your princess. Fourth time. I thought I, I thought I had everything out already. Four effing times. Who is the sea witch? And why the F is she using spells? Why are we putting are we putting shit in somebody's alcohol? Are we drugging somebody while they're drinking? Are you manipulating that some somebody's food? Confirmation from my intuition. I feel like uh, who okay masculines that are watching this. If you are having a, a if you're in a three way situation here where you got the the princess over here that don't believe you that wants nothing but love and happiness with you but you've lied and you deceived this person too many times and they're kind of like pushing you away and they don't want nothing and they're protecting themselves from you but you got little miss sea witch over here giving you doing whatever you want and letting you get away with bloody freaking murder that ain't true that's the person doing the casting not the princess that wants nothing to do with you right now they're not they're done with your sweet out they, they want you to be done with whatever it is that you're doing or they don't want nothing to do with you. This this is not this the person that's causing you the grief is not the person that's in this in, in this 3D telling you that they just don't trust you, they don't believe you. They they're not doing this to you. This is the person that's giving you all you want and need. The person that's not telling you no. That's the person that's allowing you to get away with bloody f and murder. Not the person that that's putting their foot down. I know that you know in my situation I'm the one that has to put my foot down because I won't be walked all over. You know what I'm saying? So, I know if any black magic is in my situation, it ain't fucking coming from me. Excuse my French. So, whomever this magic sea witch is, using it to either to you know to myself or to my collective, stay stay up out, stay up away from the damn casting of the spells, man. Damn. Look, here's what I'm gonna say, and I I, I don't want to come off sounding nasty, but the thing is. Is I'm gonna I'm gonna use me as an example. That's the only person I should be able to use is myself. Now, if I knew now, if I knew what a year ago, we'll just say a year ago, if I knew a year ago what I know today, and I found out somebody was casting spells on me, I'd go out to my backyard right now. I'd open up my cast iron cauldron that I I have one. Okay, I use it for Halloween purposes. It's just for aesthetics. Okay, but it's a real one. I'd go out there and I'd go boil up some potions my damn self and I'd go I'd go send this shit right back. I would I would be I could have I was a very manipulative person back then, but now I know the most high god and I know that what you put out comes back. Now, we'll say a love spell. I had to explain this to a few young girls this past weekend, you know, that were talking about, "Ooh, I want to put a love spell on this person because I really want him to like me." Now, if you want to use love magic, and you're in a relationship with somebody and somebody okays it, that's a different story. You're not manipulating somebody's free will, okay? If they go into it knowing and all of that, fine. But if you're doing something like a magic potion or a love spell to try to make somebody act right, to try to get um, somebody to like you, and it wasn't meant to be, you can actually cause a lot of really bad damage. Okay. You can cause the person that you're meant to be with, if you're on a twin flame journey, your twin flame or your actual soulmate, to push. you can push them away. And then whatever karmic nonsense will come towards you and they won't leave. They'll latch on to you like a freaking leech and won't go away. And it'll cause you an upheaval emotionally and it's going to make your life miserable. What you put out, you will get back tenfold and it's not always for the good. We gotta remember this, folks. Stop playing with magic. It's not worth it. 
It's not worth what's going to happen if you do. Let things unfold naturally. Stop, I mean, if, you're, if you have a big spender on your hands and you have a Sea Witch casting spells, could it be for the money? Because they don't want to lose out on the luxuries from this big spender? I mean, I mean, if they have more sense than, if they have more money than sense and they're drinking, it could very well be, you know, what's going on. And it could very well, you know, this black magic that's being put on him could be the reason why he's showing you fake love, why he's lying to you, you know? Because they're going to wake up and realize that they should have picked you and that they're really, truly addicted to you. We got to, we got to get away from this, with the spell work. Okay. We need to, we need to ask the most high God what to do. Get you, get a little, you know, talk to the most high God, put your, put your worries. If you're worried about money, ask the most high God to give you the path to get you the financial being well being that you need. Okay. Go out into nature. You and your soul need it. Absolutely. And this comes right back to self-love. You know, if you feel like something's going on, if you're in a situation right now to where there's a lot of up and down, back and forth, very, very confused energy, just say to fuck with it. Again, excuse my language. Just say to hell with it. Go outside. Get your little dog if you got a little dog or a big dog or whoever. Your pet. Take your pet on a walk. Go out into nature. Go get lost in the woods for a little while. Go to the lake. Go to the beach. Sit by the ocean. Sit by a pier. Whatever it is that makes you happy. Go fishing. If you love fishing, go fishing. If you love water skiing, go water skiing. If you want to get on the jet ski, get on the jet ski. You got a boat, go be around water. I personally, me, I love the water. I, I truly do. And I find the most peace there. So get out into nature. Allow your soul to heal. Allow your soul to heal. Allow your soul to heal so that way you can get back to loving you. Achieve your personal goals. Get yourself together so that way if and when you do get with your person. Whoops, wrong way, Gina. If and when you get with your person, you'll be ready. You know, you guys may have something very important to do together. What is wrong with G with my hands? What in see? This card these cards are having a freaking fit right now. Let's settle down, okay? Oh, I have to tell you guys while I'm shuffling. I'm getting a personal tarot deck for myself when they come out in October. The um, Disney villains, it has the sea witch in it. I'm going to use those. I, I just want to have them for my collection. Not necessarily, not necessarily to use, but I can't wait for that. Anyway, all right, let's get a message from our angels and our ancestors to close out this reading and tell us what we need to know to help guide us through this situation and get us out on the best possible outcome so we can reach our goals, guys, because we don't want none of this fake love. We don't want none of this black magic nonsense to be happening to us, okay? We got one. Anything else, Spirit? I guess so. A seer. The seer and the Lord. See beyond the current situation and take charge with authority. Very self-explanatory. message spirit please one last message one last message for the collective spirit please two more okay earth guardian we have earth again stay rooted and grounded the snake shed old skin right it comes back to what i was saying in the beginning okay your current situation has black magic attached to it collective and like i said i i nobody better be putting black magic on me and if you do, I return it to you. I, I, I use third eye protection, okay? I make sure that I do evil eye protection meditation daily, okay? To make sure that nobody's sending me nothing, okay? So you need to see beyond the current situation. And the reason why there may be some clouding, why there's a lot of ups and downs and turbulent situations is because there's black magic being used, okay? We need to see past that and stay rooted and grounded in your beliefs, okay? And shed the old skin. Shed the skin of having no faith in yourself and 
not being respectful to yourself and your needs and putting everybody before you and being everything for everybody and forgetting about yourself. You need to shed that old skin and love yourself. See, just stay, stay open-minded. Stay clear about what you're doing. Cleanse yourself daily. Pray daily. Meditate daily. Do whatever it is that you need to do to connect to the Most High God. Okay, take charge with authority, but with grace. Excuse me. Confirmation. <laughs> um, take charge with authority, but have grace in everything you do. Elegance, class, grace. Make sure you stay grounded to that, okay? Stay rooted in your, your, your you, your you. Stay grounded in who you are is what I'm trying to spit out. Okay, stay grounded in who you are. Don't let people outside forces manipulate you. You know, I we have we had spiritual being on the table already. Are you also a seer like myself? You could very well be, you know, an earth angel, a seer, a boss lady, boss, you know, a big boss man, or you know, we also have the snake here. Is this this? see which being a snake and doing all that stuff to you i mean we can look at it in a bunch of different ways but no you are a very powerful collective inside and out you need to stand your ground with authority but grace okay make sure you remember that make sure you remember to love yourself on the bottom of the deck we have the eagle see from a higher perspective and when i see this i remind it reminds me of my grandfather that he watches over me and guides me. He's my spirit guide. He's my ancestral ancestor guide. Every time I see an eagle, I know he's with me. Okay? See from a higher perspective. Be in your spiritual being self. Recognize that you are a very powerful person. Both spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, you have the power to do just about anything you want, if not anything you want. You just have to believe in yourself. Shed that old skin of, to of toxic, negative, unhealthy personal behaviors. And see the situation from a higher perspective. And if it's meant to happen, it will. Okay? If it's meant to happen, it will. And if it's not meant to happen, the Most High God will guide you on the way that you need to be going. Okay? Don't forget that. Don't, I mean, it's gonna. if you do get left at the altar, it's going to hurt. And it's going to suck. And that's going to be okay. Because you know what you're going to learn from it? And you're going to get a chance to move forward and, and have everything that you want. You just have, there's things that we have to go through. There's things that we have to go through in this lifetime to be able to teach us. We are here to learn things because we didn't learn it from our last life. And we were sent back down here to recycle and do all of this stuff over again. And we will continue to do it until we learn. Or we fail so miserably that we get sent to the pits of hell and suffer there for all eternity. Or we get welcomed into the, the gates of heaven and, and get to move on into paradise, which is exactly where I'm, I'm hoping to head. Actually, it's, it's exactly where I'm going because I am I am so tired of being here. I know for a fact that this is not my first time here. I The amount of deja vu I have on a regular basis is ridiculous. So I know, I know that I've been here before. I know I have a very old soul. You know, I just, I know that. And I'm just at a point now where I, I just want to heal and learn what I need to learn. Have faith in the Most High God. Do what I'm supposed to do. Be obedient. And uh, move forward in life. Because I don't want to have to recycle again. I don't want to have to do this again. I really don't. So, with that being said, have faith in yourselves, guys. Okay? Believe that you are worthy. Believe that you deserve happiness, love, financial abundance, and peace in your life. Okay? Whatever you got to do to get there, get there. And know that I'm here for you. Know that Gigi loves you. Because I do. From the very bottom of my soul, I do. I love each and every one of you for supporting the channel. For coming here and spending an hour and almost ten minutes listening to me and my advice. And, you know, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. I send you love, light, and blessings every single day. And I hope that this message reaches you guys in time to, to make you realize that, you know, maybe there's somebody out there outside of myself that needed to hear this today. I hope it helps you guys. So I'm going to leave it here for now, guys. We have hit almost, we have hit a, an hour and 10 minutes. So I'll say goodbye for now. No, Gigi loves you. That's not a lie. That is the truth. I will always be here for you. Um, so leave a message down below. If you'd like to communicate with me, please hit that like button. If it did subscribe, uh, if it didn't subscribe, 
if it did resonate with you today. And please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you'd like to be updated when I post. Until next time, guys, have a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Bye, guys.